Any franchises, though, you're kind of excited to play or pick up? Metaphor Refantasio. Never heard of it before. It's, uh... It's the new Atlas IP that's uh, being led by the director of uh, Persona 325 after he left. So you could buy the normal edition, or yeah. you could buy the digital anniversary edition, and one of its features is including over 50 DLC costumes. Yep. Welcome to like Atlas. Ugh. Dude, it, it was the exact same way with Persona 3. They had like a deluxe edition, a digital deluxe edition, and all that, and... I don't know, Atlas said some shit about like, oh man, if you get um the like the most expensive edition, we'll include the expansion pass in it, and people actually fell for it. I'm just like, no, I I'm buying I I'm buying the game at base because I know you're just gonna come out with the expansion and have it and have it cost even more. And lo and behold I was right, because a lot of people are pissed off at Persona 3 Reloads expansion. Because they bought the most expensive version. Oh my god. The expansion pass for Persona 3 costs $35? Yeah. Jesus. Now imagine that, that, and, that and now, good. yeah, now, now take that and then look up at how much the most expensive uh, version of Persona 3 really will cost. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. A hundred dollars? Yep. Meaning that there are people that actually paid a hundred and thirty-five dollars or so for the game. Meanwhile, like, you're just gonna have people like me who, granted, yeah, we're still gonna pay a hundred dollars for that and the expansion pass, but we still get to save some money. I like how I go on the Steam page and it says, Recommended the expansion pass. Uh-huh. It's recommended, but the user reviews are oh, mostly negative. Yep, yep, and it's all from people who bought the like the most expensive, the digital deluxe edition and whatnot. <laughs> it's just like, man, you, 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 they should have just they should have just tied the expansion pass to the digital deluxe edition. It's just like, okay, let's talk about that, cause it's like. Let's say that Atlas one day decided, like, all right, we're gonna release this brand new game, but um, if you want the game in full, like not just the DLC, like the new story and everything, you're gonna have to pay us a hundred bucks for it. Like, which is ridiculous. Yeah, just the fact that pretty much everyone is equal with treatment. Like, we just get pretty much the same game in the package for like seventy bucks and everything, and then they add on. Uh, like 30 x 30 bucks worth of content for everyone to download, load, and play later on. Like, that's equal. And if people are mad about that, well, um, maybe don't go, maybe don't go broke buying the fucking most expensive thing just because you believe whatever a company that needs to make money tells you. Yeah. Same with how um, a lot of people are mad at. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1, Tekken 8, yeah. Street Fighter 6, yep. because they all bought the expensive version of the game, uh -huh. they have access to the DLC, and then, oh my god, they ran out of content or it's not being developed, it's not being released in the fastest manner possible. <laughs> like, yeah, it's DLC. Yeah, like, but... I bought Mortal Kombat 1's $100 version, and I also bought Tekken 8's $100 version. And the only reason I did it was, I knew what I was signing myself up for. Okay, that's different. Like, if you, yeah. if you if you know what you're signing up for, and you're still willing to go for it, it's just like, I'm not... Like, yeah, that's... It's your money, and you're, like... Again, you know, you, you know what you did, you're an adult. Yeah.